Hello again everyone, Todd Michael Putnam from D&D Creative Table Designs bring you another adventure table idea and this one is Frostbite Ravine. Frostbite Ravine. Uh, and the idea behind, uh, idea behind it is very simple. Uh, it's a travel adventure when they're up in the frozen northern wastes uh, and they're out in the wilderness. And of course, as they're going through the wilderness, there's going to be craggy mountains and stuff and there's going to be big ice flow rivers and, and things of that nature. Uh, and uh, the players have to to uh, go through each of those obstacles or overcome those obstacles or find ways to bypass them uh, in order to get to what their final destination is. So this is probably going to be an adventure that you would use for something as like a travel session between places that they were uh, focused on, uh, but it could certainly also be a destination uh, where you wanted players to go in order to get some, some rare artifact or reagent or uh, meet some very exotic NPC out in the wilderness or something like that. Uh, but as the case may be, basically uh, the, the adventure is designed around, you've got a ravine going along, there's of course a, an ice flow river uh, that travels down through the center of it, and then you've got several high areas on either side of it, uh, on the south and northern sides as it were of it, and of course there's an abundance of wildlife and uh, dangerous creatures that are traveling about. So uh, we've got over here, we've got an owl bear, and naturally none of these would be placed on the board um, uh, until the players get to that particular location. Uh, and it also doesn't have to be where the entire thing is contiguous. So in other words, you could have a little adventure in the section right here, and then say that they travel for a couple of days, and they come to another location, which looks like this here, and you set up some monsters and, and, and or NPCs, and uh, you have stuff that happens there, and the same thing. They have to climb up over certain cliffs or whatever, and they get up here, and as they climb up this cliff, they've got to face, you know, a polar bear, which they may try and just bribe with food or, or bypass, uh, or there's an evil uh, frost chimera uh, that's up at the top, um, who's, of course, very hungry, and uh, he that, that thing will be looking down with, uh, with predator-like eyes upon the, uh, the heroes as they try and climb up, and uh, it, of course, can attack. Uh, burrowing up from underneath the ground, of course, at any time could be these giant frost worms uh, that um, has a, a, a crazy experience for them because it'll burrow up and attack and possibly like swallow one of the characters whole and then drag it down below underneath the surface of the tundra and maybe the players have to go in after it and fight it uh, or, uh, or whatever the case may be. And uh, then you've got also these kind of guys, the... Um, uh, behir or anything like that that those actually breathe lightning and stuff but you can always have a frost or cold based version of it if you want that breathes out like an ice storm uh, and of course the uh, the ever-present yetis uh, that could be guarding a particular pass uh, as, a, as a tribe and so um, they uh, maybe they have demands maybe they have some kind of strange shamanistic um, rituals and stuff that they do and, and they uh, they don't allow people past during in certain holy times or they could be complete bestial in nature however you want to to uh, have them be uh, or maybe the players had to participate in the holy ritual and prove their worthiness to uh, to pass the area such such uh, are the choices that the DM can lay out but the general idea uh, is it's just that it's a frozen wastelands uh, up in the far north and uh, going through the green and uh, very scenic and picturesque as far as what it took to build it, uh, the map, I believe, is from PW Works. Uh, if it's not, I can't remember, so there's a couple other ones that I use. Um, but um, generally, most of my maps uh, are, are from PW Works. Uh, same thing from, uh, there's also have smaller maps here. These are, there's a 6x4 underneath all of it, but these are 24x24 24 24 inch. And I've got several of those that are, are laid out uh, in order to create second second layers, second levels. Uh, underneath that is 24 inch by 24 inch clear plexiglass on top of my 3D printed Todd tiles, which are just little blocks that get 3D printed out and they've got textures on the sides. Uh, and you could paint them up to be ice textures, you can paint them up to be grass or dirt or uh, you know, dungeon gray, whatever you want. It's a generic enough texture along the side that you can basically print them up and, and do anything you want with them. Uh, and I'll put the link to where those are down at the bottom uh, so you know where to get those. It's thangs.com, T-H-A-N-G-S.com, and then just do a search for Todd tiles, and there's a bunch of different sizes uh, and, and shapes for them. And then the overwhelming majority of the rest of this is Monster Fight Club. Uh, I take it back. These, 
these pieces right here, very distinctive looking. Those are, I believe, from uh, HeroScape. Um, I got them off eBay and I can't remember, but there's a number of pieces that I have that have uh, that distinctive craggy look to it, and those are off HeroScape. Everything else is from Monster Fight Club's Ice Wild. Uh, so these, these translucent, more looking ones are from Monster, Monster Fight Club. The variety of trees that are here are for, all from Monster Fight Club. The, um, the you can see especially from these bluer type ones they added a whole bunch of different color I mean a whole bunch of different uh, styles to it so it really looks great the these blue ones are super flexible because there's so many different designs that you can throw in there that just help make it look more natural uh, the, a, a key thing for making anything look natural or organic is that it, there's not there's no straight lines and then it's uh, the least amount of repetition that you can get so two is always going to look repetitious three gets a little bit better because you can mix it up four four different styles of something is, is fantastic because you can mix that up enough that it doesn't uh it doesn't look like it's man-made or repetitious the river is also monster fight club there's four different tile sets that they have for that um uh, including one that i don't have in use here which is like a small pond thing that that uh, it, it ends in the trees and bushes uh, even including the falling trees like this one here and that one there, which are fantastic. Those are all Monster Fight Club. They also have a different type uh, of, of pure glacier type um, hills. Uh, I need to get more sets of those because they're really cool. But uh, they've got sets like that. And then this set here, which is a, a little bit less translucent. And then this set here. Uh, so you've got three different colors, variations. Um, the blue ones, the darker blue ones, the more blue and then some white, those have the most variety to them. Those have all the extra little add-on things. I don't believe that these ones do have it. I wish they did because I would order tons of them. They would be fantastic. Uh, and then the trees, they have four different types of tree tops, two different levels of uh, tree heights uh, to, to put them on. You can see the two different tree heights there. And then, you know, you've got the very large and the medium and the small and the very small type of ones. And then on top of that, they've got blighted trees, which are all the same sizes, but they also have two different color sets. I didn't use most of those in this particular build, uh, but there's some that have more like of a reddish tinge to it. And some of them have more like a, like a greenish or brownish type color to it. Oh, here you go. This, uh, I'll put this one right here. So you can see the two different color sets that they have. There's a good close up of it. And there's four different sizes for each one of those. And each one of those can go on two different sizes of the actual tree trunks that they come with. So lots and lots of variety. Uh, and it makes really for super easy builds. Um, you can just throw stuff out and uh, in scatter train style. And uh, just because there's such a variety of the pieces, uh, it, it adds to the, uh, the organic look and uh, does a great job of, of convincing that you're in a natural location. So there it is. That is the Frostbite Ravine. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. Uh, and if you uh, have any comments, please leave them below. And I will see you guys next adventure. Take care. Bye.